Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm going to pick up a claw foot bathtub, but it doesn't have claw feet on it, it's just a porcelain bathtub. And this lady is going to give it to me for free. So blessed. <laughs> really, because they're, they're quite expensive porcelain bathtubs. I mean, just old rusty ones are expensive. People refinish them, and anyways, so uh, I'm going to pick one up in the trailer, and I'm going to put it somewhere here, like just in the yard, and then fill it with hot water, and take hot baths right here by the river. Oh my god, it's going to be so good. I'll probably have to do it at night though, you know, so that nobody can see me naked, like that's a big deal, but anyways, so you're going with me, baby. <laughs> Got me some food. Trying to save money, you know. Hey, are you ready to go? You're 11 now. Yeah, you can go with me. <laughs> see, so where are we going to put this food? Toyota Power, baby. <laughs> so my engine light, check light, is on now. And it kind of comes and goes. And I've driven it probably more than a thousand miles since it started doing that. And so I just don't worry about it. I've checked into it and it's like something, but it's not a problem for now. <laughs> She says, Dad, you better get it checked. <laughs> when you just have a dog, you have to create things that they say. Like what you think they might say if they were maybe smarter. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> Do you know what that is? That, my friends, right there. That is wood for foot friends. That's right. I'm going to be making foot friends again soon. All right, let's put this in the back of the car here. It says, Dad, don't hit me. Aha, I also got fabric for millet hole pillows. If you don't have one of my millet hole pillows yet, you gotta get you one. <laughs> you like to go up there, eh? <laughs> She's always like so happy when we first get out on the road. And she'll get tired and she'll lay down and sleep for a while, you know. I put a giant exhaust pipe on my truck. Look how pretty this is through here. It's so green and nice now. Getting closer to the tub, dude. I can smell it. I love this valley. It's so beautiful here. We're near Warren Wilson College. to find 
find a strapping young man to help me to lift this thing. Okay, so I found a strapping young man. <laughs> he only weighs about 120 pounds to come and help me move the bathtub and he's following in that car back there. Okay, so I couldn't take you to where I picked up the tub because I didn't tell them anything about making a video, you know, and you can't just like throw that on somebody. <laughs> but there it is. There she is. We'll get her all cleaned up. I'm gonna go buy a plug for it in a minute. Go over to Lowe's. And uh, yeah, I'm just holding it on with some motorcycle straps. Ain't going anywhere. So we'll see you back at the house. Surf up butts. It, it sort of fits if it'll stay. See these clouds, these big old cumulus clouds. I don't know if the camera can even see that. But they're right, right there. These big old incredible clouds, thick, it's like thick snowy white puffy clouds. Okay, so I got it back and my neighbor helped me move it over here. It's super freaking heavy, seriously. It's like, I don't know, it's probably at least 175, maybe 225 pounds. And that's where it's going to sit. I just need to clean it up and put it on some hardwood blocks. And then I'm ready to fill it. <laughs> so I want to thank everybody for joining me. Um, yeah, this place is getting better and better. I just keep working and working on it. Cleaning up the trash and getting rid of the barbed wire and this and that. We've got some plans to get more water flowing into the little pond there. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, next I'm going to show you my garden space. It's uh, coming along. I got the fence up the other day. So thanks for joining me.